guys, so I'm gonna go p ahead and paint this guy. I, the only thing I got left to tape off is uh, that right there. And I don't want any paint on the trigger, so that's why I put this over there. And I, I taped off this area too for when you're rocking the slide and stuff. I don't want extra paint. So, but but every, every, pretty much every paint place else is gonna get a uh, flat black paint on it. And up here, I'm gonna put the uh, scope mount. Over here, where I had the, the light and laser combo, I'm gonna put it back. Scope mount there and sling mount right there. Here's some of the hardware that I'm gonna use. Um, I got the, the gun actually drying right now. Well, first coat's drying, and then I'm gonna get another couple coats on it. And I'm just painting a, with flat black Rust-Oleum kind of paint. Anyway, the ones with the silver screw right there, that's the one that was on the side holding the, the light and laser combo originally, like this guy right here. Um, but I'm gonna put this one on the top as a scope mount because it actually has five slots in it, and that three slot one right there is the same size as it. And um, the five slot one also has that little center channel so you can kind of see through it um, just in case you want to use the, the regular iron sights. Um, this one right here is the, is the QD mount for um, well, the sling mount. So I have a single point sling uh, right here. This, the QD mount um, sling mount, I think this was like maybe three or four bucks. Um, the, there was like a pack of, you get two three slot ones, a five slot one for I think like seven or eight bucks and then this sling right here it's like a HK style bungee one point sling with like the quick detach thing and that was uh, nine bucks something like that nine or ten bucks uh, let's see. all right well this guy costs a little bit over 30 bucks and it's supposed to be a light light and laser combo the LED is really tiny looks junk but whatever <laughs> it was only 30 bucks this uh, pick mount over here is a little sus suspect too. It feels very plasticky and whatever. It's probably not gonna hold a zero too great, but this guy does have windage and elevation adjustments right there. You can see the two screws. And they gave extra screws in this bag. I'm not I'm not really sure what those are for, but the Allen screws, I'm pretty sure that it, that it gave you right, to adjust the windage and elevation, but the other ones are Phillips screws and I guess maybe it'll hold that battery door in there or something I'm not sure. Alright guys here it is I just threw in some batteries and so far I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed with this thing um, right now I got the switch on let's see if I can do this so it's just like a momentary switch just like a tactile switch like that you can see it's pretty bright and then if I uh, if you just hit this button on the back over here it'll put it into on mode and then it'll turn on with this little guy well maybe not maybe if the switch is plugged in then Oh yeah, you gotta take that switch out if you want to use it like this. It's got laser mode. This is the you can't see the laser in there. This is light only, laser only, light and laser. And all. all right, here's the pick rails I got too. I'm supposed to be mounting the backup iron sights using these kind of guys. I'm gonna put this is the front and the back, or maybe I don't know. I might just mount the red dot. Call it a day and use the uh, light and laser combo. All right guys, so I, I got the bug assault here and I just basically went over with the flat black. It's just the, like just a Rust-Oleum flat, flat black you just get at Home Depot. It's only like two or three bucks a can. Anyway, I got the, um, I taped off everything like in the, the trigger over there and any of the moving parts like right over here and also kept the tip orange just, just for safety, you know. I don't get shot by the police. And uh, I covered up the clear um, hopper up here. So I'm going to pull all this off and then we'll see what it looks like. All right, so here's how she looks now. Not too bad. I mean, it adds like a nice tactical look to it. And if you're like a Democratic presidential candidate, you're gonna definitely wanna ban this guy now. All right, so now the next step is I'm gonna put the uh, scope, I mean the three slot Picatinny rail over here somewhere. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna use the same holes because the screw that I'm gonna use is a little bit narrower and longer. And then I'm gonna put a five slot Picatinny on the top here. And in the back corner over here, this is the, where my QD sling mount is going to go. And we'll take it from there.
Alright, so I got the Picatinny screwed in there on the side. I used the, some brass screws inside there. I originally bought them for kind of decoration, but who cares? Anyway, they're just the right size and the only ones that I could fit that were not going to damage anything internally once they were screwed in there and they're going to hold it in nicely. And that three slot one is going to hold this guy. I'm not going to put the accessories on and stuff until I got all the pick rails and stuff screwed in there properly, but it seems pretty solid. Solid enough at least to hold that light in. So I don't know if you could see that on there, but um, as I was screwing it in, I was trying to line it up right along the middle, but the two halves of the clamshells are actually separating themselves. <clears throat> oh, and I forgot about this too. I forgot about the tape right here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get a, um, I'm gonna try and get this like little vice grips and just grip the top over here and then screw it in. Um, or maybe drill a small hole, I'm not sure yet. Um, just, so, just so it doesn't keep spreading like that and uh, causing problems. This guy was a little bit harder to get on because I had to kind of clamp up here and you can still see how it's kind of spreading a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't affect the function of the gun too much. But I just wanted to get that thing straight, straight aligned up and down. So let's see if it can rack and everything still. Oh yes, all good still. Ah, look at that thing though. It's got one of those tactical thingies, man. It makes the gun shoot all by itself. All right, now, now for the last part, I'm going to get this uh, QD mount here for the sling. And I'm going to stick it on the back over here so we can mount the sling up there and then everything's good to go from there all right well this one turned out a little crappier than i thought i, I kind of drilled the screw the whole screws uh the screws for the holes a little bit off centered but whatever it's uh it's in there solid so let me get the sling out let me see if it attaches so here's the QD mount. Oh yeah, she hangs, she hangs. All right, so now I got the thing all, all the pick rails in and the QD mount on the back. And now I'm gonna put the light and laser combo back on the front Perfect. and attach it up here. And then maybe I'll stick a red dot on the top, but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. I don't really have too much confidence in the red dot being able to be effective at all at zeros because yeah the effective range of this is like less than two feet or so so it's really hard to zero anything properly like if I get this this guy to zero uh, it's only good for one distance and then it, as soon as you step back it's it's crooked already you know so um, let's get these attached and <laughs> Alright guys, so I just threw the Bushnell's red dot onto the side of this guy's, or on the top of it on that scope mount. Not really a scope mount, just like a five slot pick rail, but you know, it's kind of hard to get that thing to focus, but it looks nice. I mean, the in real life that dot looks pretty crisp, but it's on really bright right now because I got the, the overhead light on. And there's my uh, QD sling mount right there. And then here we got the light and laser combo up in the front. Um, this I just have it activated by the switch, so that, that's just a flashlight right there. And then it's got a little knob so you can adjust it between the um, laser only and then the light and laser. It's kind of hard to see, but the laser's on at the same time. But I usually just leave it with the flashlight on because the, the laser zero is garbage anyway. And it's a, just a push button, but it also has that pressure switch that you can install onto the front of that. Or you can install into the grip as well if you wanted to. I 
I was trying to go out and hunt tonight, but actually I didn't even see a single frog out there or any cockroaches or anything. I don't know if it's the uh, the black paint that scared them away, maybe. It just looks so tactical. All the bugs went running in terror. <laughs> anyway, I didn't see a single bug out there, so I don't have any new footage to show you from this particular gun, so we'll see what happens next. Ooh, all right, check it out guys. I got some, uh, I don't know if you can see it inside there, but there's two New York strips. And this is prime grade, baby. This is the real good Costco stuff. It's like 16 bucks a pound, but it's real good, man. So soft. But anyway, I got this guy going at 129. And I'm gonna finish this guy on the grill tomorrow. And there's two steaks in there, and each of these is like just a little bit less than a pound. So maybe they're about 15 ounces each. And it's been going, about an hour so far. Pretty exciting.